artfully dodged any question about Holliston during our last segment, as any good coach should. And congratulations on a, a very convincing win over Framingham. But now can we talk Holliston? We certainly can. Okay, I, I appreciate that. We're, we're dealing with an interesting sun that's kind of going down. But listen, we're dealing with sun. And it's yes. not that bad. It has been no. a good year and the elements have cooperated Absolutely. with us. And can you think back to your first few experiences of the, the rivalry and Thanksgiving Day and what it means to you and how it's evolved from a player to a coach? Sure. I mean, when I played, it just so happened. I mean, the, the playoffs were all different. So the whole thing was set up a little different. But my all four of my years, the Holliston game dictated who went to the Super Bowl. Nice. So it had a lot of, you know, a lot behind it, you know, a lot, a lot riding on each game. Um, and, you know, and then the playoffs have changed and all that kind of stuff. But the rivalry's still there. I mean, both teams just really, I mean, everyone wants to walk out on top, right? And it's your last chance to get a win before you walk out the door. And both teams are going to come with everything they got. Interesting season because Holliston enters this game 5-5. Five and five, But more importantly, 4-0 and oh in the TVL large. Westwood, of course, 3-1 and one entering this one with a chance to win on Thursday and share a title. So that adds a little bit of intensity to this game. But interesting year for Holliston because they have had success in the league. How do you assess their play? They're a very, very good team. I think, um, you know, they've been such a powerhouse over the last 10, 15 years that they, their non-league games, they have a hard time finding opponents. So the teams they play are always really good teams. And that's sort of what happened this year. They hit some really good teams. You know, a lot of them made the playoffs and made deep runs into the playoffs. So, you know, they played some really tough competition early. They had a coaching change, which I think just took them a while to kind of get used to, you know, the new philosophies of the coach. And, you know, they hit their stride going into the league. And, you know, and that's how they got 4-0 in the league. So let's talk specifically about a couple of their guys before we flip the page, talk about some Westwood. Kafka's very solid at QB. Yep. You know that Connor Teague, you got to try to neutralize, he's legit, right? Yep. He's got seven rushing TDs and four receiving TDs. Austin Rodenheiser, another one of those key names. He got, he's the guy who gets in the end zone and also disrupts things defensively. And then on the defensive side, William Clasby, right? He's the oh. guy who you seemingly have to try to neutralize somehow. So as you hear those names, do they give you somewhat nightmares, you know, as you're preparing for this game? <laughs> well, it, 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 it does. You know, you're, you're always worried. You know, it's it's like the Belichick thing, right? You want to try and eliminate their better players, and and, and that's going to be sort of what we try and do. You know, when it comes to Connor Teague, I, I don't know if you can neutralize him. You just got to kind of hope he doesn't have a great day. Um, you know, so, you know, we're going to do our best, the best we can to try and contain these guys. You know, I, I love our defense. I think they've brought some physicality all year and you know I have no doubt we're going to bring it on Thursday and hopefully our defense can hold up against some really good athletes. How did the Framingham game at if nothing else mentally help your team? It was a good rebound game I mean the the, the Tewksbury game was tough I, you know I don't think we they were a good team we didn't play our best and you know it kind of rattled us I think a little bit and then you know getting back after it you know with Framingham I felt like Early on, all of a sudden, you could just feel the confidence came back. And, and as the game went on, we just got better and better. And I think we're back to where we, we should be. Good. Two more things. One of them is, describe what it's like going on the road Thanksgiving Day. Everybody gets here at, I don't know, what time you get here? When do you leave? 7 o'clock, 6.30, right. 7 o'clock we'll get here. Yeah. And we'll leave, I think, at like 7.30. What's that bus like? It's quiet. It's, it's, it's really interesting, um, having done it for so many years. It's, you, you know, you're just driving along and the roads are empty and you're just driving by houses and there's a certain, you know, we talked, actually talked about at the beginning of the year, there's a certain intensity that goes along with a bus ride to a football game, especially your final football game and the seniors are going to be locked in. And I think, you know, it's going to hit them on that bus ride like this is it. And, you know, so there is a lot of intensity in, in a lot of energy you can feel on the way to the game and it, and it is something special cool and the last one is this since this is our last inside the huddle of 2024 i want to ask you what's been your best moment what stands out to you as the highlight so far of the year well i there, there's a couple i could come up with but the one i'm going to go with was definitely the screen pass against dedham yes um <laughs> to, to uh dante and to uh martucci i mean and for so many reasons, I mean, it was a big play. It set up the win and like so many people did the right thing and it was executed so well, like as a coach, you're like, oh, that's what happens when everyone does what they're supposed to do. <laughs> and, you know, it was just, it, it, it kind of summed up like 
the team because again it was a team effort for everyone to do what they needed to do and us to make that play so i you know that's the one that kind of jumps out at me good love it we appreciate you watching we went a little long on this episode but that's for good reason we are wrapping up the season i appreciate brad's cooperation uh, in doing this every single week and i also want to say thanks to the uh, Westwood Gridiron Club. I was thrilled to be a sponsor this year with Westwood Living and to get to know the guys better, get to know the coach better. That's the whole point. We're all big community, so I appreciate your time. Oh, my pleasure. Your Thank you so much. And uh, we will be there no matter how cold, no matter how wet on Thursday, and I hope that you join us because one more time, we're going to cheer on the Wolverines this year. That's Brad Pindell, and that's Inside the Huddle.